Hi everyone, today I'm making cinnamon raisin biscuits. How about that? Let me show you. Using two cups of all purpose flour. Doesn't have to be a perfect cup, but that's one cup. I'm scooping out the other cup. And then I'm gonna add to it a tablespoon of baking powder, a half teaspoon. Let me get that half teaspoon of baking soda, a nice teaspoon of salt, and I'm gonna add two teaspoons of sugar. Whisk that in. Six tablespoons of cold butter, and I'm just cutting it into cubes. And I'm also using two, this is four tablespoons of butter flavored shortening. And I'm cutting that into cubes as well. Then I'm tossing them into my flour mix and kind of break it up a little bit in the flour. And then I'm going to get my pastry cutter and you can definitely use your fingers for this but I'm going to start off with my pastry cutter and then just get my butter and my shortening cut into the flour until my flour resembles coarse cornmeal. Now I'm going to add my buttermilk. I'm using one and a fourth cup. of buttermilk. More if needed, but I'm going to start with one and a fourth cup. And go ahead and pour that right into the mix, the dry mix. And I'm not that particular as long as I get it mixed in. And it should be on the sticky side at this point. Now I am going to add, this is a cup of raisins that I soaked about 10 minutes in some hot water just to plump them up a bit, just a bit. And I'm gonna toss them right there into my dough and kind of fold it in because you still don't want to overwork even your biscuit dough. So I'm just going to fold it in. My cinnamon. Now I'm going to do two heaping teaspoons and I'm just going to lay it right there on the top. That's one teaspoon. And then I'm going to give me another nice heaping teaspoon of it. That's two. And I'm going to fold that in as well. Kind of fold it in like this. Because I like to fold my cinnamon in here. I don't want to mix it all the way into the batter. Once I got it folded in a little bit, y'all, I'm going to move this over. Grab, flour my mat. And then put flour on my hands as well. And I'm going to just put this all on my mat. Now I'm going to start to knead it. 
And if it's sticky, you can always add a little bit more flour, y'all, as we go. So far, this is pretty good. Get a little bit more flour, though, on my hands. Now I'm just going to flatten it out with my fingers. You can use a rolling pin for this, but I have gotten used to flatten it out with my hand. And I'm flattening it out to about a half inch thick. This two inch biscuit cutter, I'm going to cut them out and place them on this 9 by 13 baking pan that I've lined with nonstick parchment paper. And I'm just going to start cutting them out, pressing down and lifting up the cutter, moving the dough that's around it, picking it up and placing it over here on my pan. You can get about anywhere from 10 to 12 biscuits out of this. So let me cut out some more. Now I have the oven preheated to 400, y'all, and 50 degrees. And I'm going to let these go into the oven to bake for about 20 minutes. In the meanwhile, I'm making my icing or glaze, whichever one you want to call it. And I'm just going to use, scooping out two cups of powdered sugar, also known as confectionery sugar. These are half cups I'm scooping out. about two cups and then I'm going to just add a tablespoon at a time of water you can use whatever liquid you like it could be milk or whatever liquid you like my preference is water for my biscuits and that's three tablespoons I'm starting with and I'm just gonna Keep working and adding my liquid to it until I get the consistency that I like. And that's about another tablespoon. After 20 minutes, our biscuits, our biscuits, while they are still piping hot, we're going to Dribble on our icing. And we want to make sure we get it all over. A little bit more glaze. And y'all, let's go ahead and let me taste one for ya. Look how golden brown it is at the bottom, y'all. Still kind of hot. Let's see what the inside looks like. Ooh, look at that, y'all. Look at that cinnamon raisin biscuit. Mmm, mmm, mmm. You won't be disappointed. Mm. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Bye bye.